Hello everybody and welcome back to the CD Toledo Youth Academy Challenge and we've only gone nine games into the season but it's not as dreadful as I thought it would be but coming up is Real Madrid. Oh and thank you everyone that commented to say £10 million is definitely not going to be enough of a release fee. Luckily I've managed to sort it. Yes hello everybody welcome back to the save and we are taking on Real Madrid who have played 9, won 9, and have 27 points. So this is going to be really fun. The only um, team in the league that have won all their games. We're not doing too bad. We're in 12th. Um, 9 games played, a minus 2 goal difference, and 11 points. So it's actually not dreadful. And when we say 12th, it was dreadful, and we've improved a little bit <laughs> right now at the end of the season I'll be delighted with 12 don't get that wrong that would be an impressive place to be I mean it's yeah it started pretty badly I mean the 4-3 loss to Levante I did think we were a bit unlucky in that one uh, a 1-0 loss away at Granada again I we played okay we were just the, the the difference in general player class was the difference we believe we've got our first point against Atletico Pampolana at 2-2 in that one. Even though Pinto got sent off, we survived nearly a whole half of football with 10 men. But in the 80th minute, they scored uh, and got an equaliser. Getafe, we lost 4-2. Very disappointing in that one. Constantino getting a goal in that. Girona, we beat Girona 2-0. Migo Moreno celebrating... Well, he didn't have a new contract. He's only just signed it, but... In anticipation of being offered a new contract, scored two goals, which was lovely. Villarreal smashed us 4-1. We were completely out of it, never stood a chance. Uh, we beat Real Sociedad 2-1. Miguel Moreno getting another, and Abel Gallego off the left wing doing really well as well. Espanyol, we beat them 2-0. Gallego getting another one in that game. And Real Betis, we've just drawn 0-0. I say just, last week. We've drawn 0-0 with, and today we take on Real Madrid. But the biggest bit of news that we can be excited about is that Miguel Moreno is now longer. He is no longer paid £400 a week. He got a pay rise from £400 a week to £6,500 a week, which he was very excited to accept. That didn't bother me. I wanted to chuck whatever he wanted at him. So this is his contract. £6,500 a week. He... Gets £600 every time he plays. He gets £750 every time he scores. He gets £250 every time he's on the bench and doesn't come on. He gets £250 every time he has an assist. He gets two grand if he's a top goal scorer. And he gets 2500 if he's in the team of the year at the end of the season. He has a three-year optional contract extension by the club. Get in. However, I've got to give him a 15% pay rise every year. But most importantly... £85 million pounds is his minimum fee release clause. I tried to get £100 million, but he wasn't having it. So we agreed on £85 million, which is... I mean, if we get £85 million for him, right, that's incredible because it's just ridiculous. It's a ridiculous amount of money. But, yeah, so it's not too bad, actually. I think the wage is relatively cheap for someone as good as he's going to be. Um, I think... The appearance fees and the goal bonuses are fine. It's not going to bankrupt us, even if he does score like 30 to 40 goals this season, which is a tall order. The 15% Wayne rise, I generally don't like putting those in. But again, I was like, anything to get this contract over the line. And it's a three-year optional contract extension, which, you know, I think... I'm trying to remember when that came in because I tried to put it in every time they kept removing it. And I think they accepted that every time I said it was a 15% yearly wage rise. But... I am also expecting clubs to come in and bid for him and disrupt what's like disrupt him and try and turn his head and, and get him to look other ways because he's going to be ridiculous. He's 16. He scored four goals in nine games in, in La Liga. He's got a 6.91. He's doing really well and we need to keep him at this club for as long as physically possible. My, my one worry is that we're going to keep him here so long that he just leaves on a free, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, so in theory, we've got him signed down until 2038, which is another five years, with a three-year... Well, it's another four seasons, isn't it? Because it'll be 2034 in, at the end of this season. So four more seasons with three more optional extension as well, which is just brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. I would imagine 
by the before he gets to that point, we'll have to probably offer him a new contract to increase his wages and stuff like that. So, but while he's here, long term, and he's happy, we we. Sticking with it, and we're going to give him new contracts when he comes to us and complains he wants a new contract. Otherwise, he's here for eight more years, and that's job done, in my opinion. We don't have to worry about anything else. But yeah, it's going really well to the point that we have lots of interest in lots of our players, which again is a concern. Most of it is is low knees and stuff, but there's a couple in here that have got uh, transfers. Where is it? Oh, who had transfers? Alphacoff? No. Um... Oh, no, they've all gone. It's all loaned now. Oh, it was because, yeah, Kazushi had some, but I, I it's, it's gone away for that as well. Tito Palau still wants his new contract, but he's in extremely good morale and playing pretty decently. So he's not getting one at the moment. Um, he's not getting one because he's got two years left on his current deal as well. So it's going very well. Goals, as you would imagine, Moreno is top. Gallego's up there with three. Uh, Peña's up there with two. Moreno's up there with two as well. Constantino is coming off the bench in most games he has six appearances off the bench obviously we've played nine league games this season but there was talk around well, you know we should have a two striker system uh, I don't want to change the system because it's obviously it's playing very well the team are used to it and it works it's working for us and I think that is crucial at this stage to have a system that works so we're sticking with it for now but yes Real Madrid I would say it's our first real test it's not we've had lots of tests because we're so much worse than everyone else but Real Madrid is coming up they are incredible um nine wins from nine with a goal difference of 23 if we're going to have a look at their schedule yeah so since the competitive season started they have kept one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine clean sheets stretching across the Champions League, the Super Cup, and La Liga. Ah, oh, man. And in fact, they've only conceded one, two, three, four, five goals. Shit. And they've not, it's not like they've played easy teams either. They've played Ajax, Inter Milan, and Arsenal and didn't con and conceded one goal in all of that, and only one was a draw. They are smashing teams left, right, and center. Um, yeah. Let's see how we get on, I suppose. I don't know why. Why did I come back for Real Madrid? Obviously, I'm very excited to play Real Madrid. But why did I come back and show it live on camera? I'm questioning that thought now. I am questioning. Other, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this game goes. And if it's an absolute drubbing, then we won't come back for the Barcelona game. We'll we'll skip that and get to January. And maybe come back for like Granada and Levante again or something like that. Anyway, we've got a couple of days till we get there. I'll be back and we'll go through the team. <laughs> There's an understatement if I've ever seen one. Toledo face difficult Real Madrid challenge. Yes. Yes, we do. We're going to the Bernabeu. We are rubbish in comparison to Real Madrid. They are... A world of superstars and they're a world of superstars it's, it's they're so good it's made me lose sense of words to be honest Alberto Nunes got a perfect 10 rating in our under 19s he's looking pretty useful to be honest but yeah we we're getting there we're getting there. there's Girona and Sevilla drew um, which is good for us because Girona are below us in the table so that's fine I don't know what's a respectable scoreline here 2-0 to Real Madrid obviously um, Keeping it below five, I sort of feel like would be would be reasonable. I mean, Espanyol are bottom of the table, really struggling this year. Ponferreira just trying to keep their head above water. But out of the promoted teams, we are quite clearly doing the best. I think the three promoted teams that came up were well like out of their depth coming up to this level. And it's just who can cope with it the best. Right, we're actually not going to change the team. It is going to be this lineup. Jimenez in goal, Paleo, Kazushi, Jeff Hogg and Pinto, Akinde, Pena, uh, Gallego, Crimson Mori, Marino and Moreno. Marino, Marino and Moreno up front. Um, the only person missing out who is available. So Joe Page. Joe Page was saying he never gets really makes it. He is in the first team squad. It's just, yeah, you're not quite at the same level at the moment. Pedro Navarro missing out as well. He's going to probably play a role later on in the season. And Miguel Navarro uh, is looking very good, but he isn't in the team for today's game because we're not going to change it. We're going to keep it the same. Uh, we're going to see how we get on. Akinde are lacking a little bit of fitness. But here we go. It's Real Madrid away at the Bernabeu. Bernabeu? Bernabeu? 
Santiago Bernabeu? I don't know. It's just got a new roof put on it, hasn't it, in real life? So, here we go. Um, they're managed by Pochettino. They have Zaya Emery, Camavinga and Bellingham in midfield. They have that Jack McKenna chap up front who is incredible. Vinicius Jr. still there. Milos Kerkez is a name I recognise. Coyote from Fiorentina. Yeah, this is going to be... Uh, I don't... I, there's no pressure. Go and play with the freedom. Do I really say I want to win every match? I want to win every match. I want to win every match. No matter of who we're playing against, I want to win every match. Now, I'm not saying we will. We haven't changed the kits for this season. Um, if we stay up in the La Liga, we will have some fantastic kits for next season. If we get relegated, we'll have normal green. We'll have our normal colour kits, but they'll be new. But if we stay up, we'll have some sort of commemorative second season in La Liga gold stripes on a green kit or something absolutely fantastic but yeah the good news is that we can't go into the relegation spots no matter what happens in this game today the bad news is that if we get absolutely walloped and the teams below us win we could potentially be very close to the relegation spots all right good header away but coyote's going to pick it up i'm sort of thinking i don't normally do this but we definitely have to change to positive we're one nil down michael coyote has fired Real Madrid in front with three minutes on the clock. This is going to be difficult. It was a good header away. It was a good header away. But then we forgot that after clearing our lines, we actually have to go. I mean, it was so easy for him, wasn't it? So easy. Well, three minutes in, it's 1-0 Madrid. I've got a feeling this is going to be... This could go in. Oh my God, Jude Bellingham has hit the bar from absolutely miles away. And our goalkeeper just went... Oh, yeah, thank you, Mr. Woodwork. That's hit the bar. We'll let that one go. Okay, if we can just get a bit of possession, I'd be happy. I could even drop it down to balanced, but not yet. Gallego into Mori. Nope, Costello Jr. reads that one. Bellingham, McKenna, Vinny Jr. It's two. Ten minutes into the game. Let's... Come on, boys. Come on. Three. I mean, I don't know what else I can do to be defensively solid without completely changing the system. We could go Steve the Stingray. We could go double-headed eagle and go three at the back. But I sort of feel like, oh my god, it's a pen don't make it even easier for them. Why are you giving a penalty away? You're literally 2-0 down away at Real Madrid and three minutes after they score their second goal, you just kick someone when the ball's bouncing around. Right, McKenna. Oh, well, I thought he had nearly saved it, but it's 3-0 to Madrid. Let's drop it to balanced. We're just slowly getting further away from the mentalities that I want to play. But uh, yeah, 3-0. This is going... I said, I said if it's under 5-0, that's respectable. And... 20 minutes played, we're 3-0 down without a shot on target. We, we've only touched the ball in a highlight to clear a header, as uh, Kazushi misses that header. We've cleared a header, which ended in a goal. We've played a long pass, which then um, they scored from. We haven't touched the ball in that whole passage of play. We we need to change system, don't we? We, we desperately need to change system. Noah's Ark is far too attacking against these teams. Teflon Slip will be too attacking. Monkey Wrench is going to be sacrificed. I mean, that might work just because it could confuse them. But uh, I think we go back to the double-headed eagle, which, you know, got us through some difficult times, didn't it? Um, now it's a case of who can play where. Centre-back, centre-back. Pinto is only... I mean, he can play centre-back. So I think we go... This is the problem. We're not really set up to change this system at the moment it's still very attacking but i'm hoping that the defensive numbers give us a bit of a chance um i think for now we just make the most of what we've got right so akinde sits there pinto comes over here peña would play out of position but i want to get him into position so gallego can play here crimson mori paleo moreno marino and then we'll see i mean i don't think this is going to make things better the the levels of difference between us and Real Madrid. This is a this it's, it's a pummeling. It's a pummeling. We all just agree and accept that right now. Oh my god, we've even got an injury an injury to make things worse. Um now Camaro is more of a centre back. George Monday is gonna come on. 
Although, no he's not. We are going to do Camaro for Paleo and Jeff Hogg is then going to go out to right wing back. Jeff, I believe in you to stop Vinicius Jr. I, I believe you can do it. Oh my god, we've got an attacking highlight. Oh, we forced their keeper into an, an attempted save. He didn't actually save it. We hit the side netting. But we're on the XG count. We are on the XG count. Pinto, Camaro, Gallego. I mean, look at that. He's just let Luca run back and nick the ball off him so easily. Fayado, Zaire Emery, Kerkez, Camavinga, McKenna. Too easy. So easy. It's so easy for Real Madrid. I said 5-0 would be respectable keeping it below 5-0 it's 5-0 after half an hour we've not even got to half time why did I come back for this game we're definitely not coming back for Barcelona and we're definitely not coming back for the return leg of this game like absolutely not I mean Coyote with a throw takes it short to McKenna back to Coyote is this 6 it should be 6 with his ability to be honest Fayardo into Luca. Ball through. He's offside. He's off. Please say that's offside. Please. We're going to go to balanced. We're going to drop to balanced again. <laughs> it's... Hey, it's offside. We get a decision in our favour. It's still 5-0. Let's not watch it again because they just cut through us so easily. This... This... This is just... I'm hoping they all get complacent in the second half. And that's it. They're like, yeah, this game's won. We'll rest everyone. We're all good. I mean, we're still 13th. Even with this result, we're 13th. We're 5-0 down. We still doesn't give us the worst goal difference in the league. And we do get to see... You're doing well. Keep working hard. Um, I mean, no, I'm going to have to... Like, you, What's going on? I'm going to say... what's go I'm going to be harsh with them. We're in this league on merit, and we're... Throwing our chances away. Right. Um, Oscar Moreno off. Constantino on. People can get to see the joint strike force they wanted to see. Constantino and Moreno up front together. I've got to be wary because we've only we've used, what, two subs now as well. So, uh, Akinde is tired, but I don't really want to take him off just yet. I mean, Peña and Crimson Mori, that should work. I mean, really, we shouldn't be so gung-ho. Uh, Gallego can't play there, but I mean, is that really going to make a difference today? Let's take him off. Uh, we'll just bring on Aaron Wall there. So three subs done, and we're at half time and 5 0 down. We knew it was going to be a pummeling. We knew it was going to be a pummeling. We're playing balanced. We've dropped our wing backs to be less attacking. We still want all of our attacking to go. Basically, look at this. It's like a back six that we've got going on at the moment. Vinny Jr. into McKenna. Zaire Emery. Comes forward. It's so easy. Their movement is just completely bamboozling our defenders. We have literally no answer for what they're chucking at us. Aaron Wall, Pena, into Akinde. Aaron Wall, back to Akinde. Jeff Hogg, Crimson Mori is... Oh, no, the wrong... Way. I don't mind keeping the ball, but we were so close to their area. Just shoot. We were so close. We were so close to their area. Vinny Jr., McKenna... It's six. It's six. I mean, honestly, I think we just have to accept our fate and be like, slow everything down, do whatever you want once it's slow. But, I mean, we're, well, we're counter-attacking. Oh, they're going to chuck men forward, so let's get the ball forward quickly. No, that, this is all being, like, horrendously stay on feet, drop off more. Um, show them inside. We've got some, no, no. Show them outside. Get them. Try and get them to put crosses in. Uh, we are passing in space. Don't bother playing out defence. Don't, 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 don't go too high a tempo. Play for set pieces. Yeah, why not? I mean, this is probably the most defensive I've ever, ever set up in Football Manager. Akinde needs to come off. Um, I mean, I don't really want Lorente to play there, do I? That wouldn't be ideal. Let's we'll put Pena back there. And then we'll bring on Alberto, who's a good little young player. And we've got one sub left on the 55 minutes. I just feel like we're going to get an injury. And I really don't want it to be to Miguel Moreno. So he's going to come off to be replaced by Mickey Reed. So he's got his bumper new contract. But, um, yeah, we're not going to see him score in this game. Good tackle, Aaron. Good tackle. Take that, Jude Bellingham. 
Right, an hour gone. Um, they've scored a goal every 10 minutes so far. Are they going to keep that up? Yes. Yes, well, they've now scored more than a goal every 10 minutes. This could be double figures. And I think going defensive, or more defensive, is going to play into their hands. But I can't risk chucking people forward. Why did I come back for this game? What a nonsense. What have I done? I mean, what do I do? Do I, do I try encouragement at them? Come on, chaps. It's only seven. It's only seven. Jimenez just boots it long. Reed tries to flick it on. Costello just is like, nah, I'll bring that down out of the sky. Look at this. Don't press them. Love it. Try and keep a defensive shape. I don't know what I could have done in this game to mean we didn't lose 7-0. I sort of feel like if I worry about it too much, I'm going to question everything about my football manager career. I say career. How I like to play the game. And I think we just wipe the Real Madrid and most likely the Barcelona games under the carpet like they never happened and hope that it doesn't affect morale too much. I mean, our goalkeeper dived so late for that ball. Think, let's think of all, let's think of all, like we've got 20 minutes left of this game. Let's think about all the good things that have happened so far, right? We've got an absolute monster wonder kid that I've never had in an intake before, ever. And judging by the comments, neither of you. I think only one person commented to say that they've had something similar. Um, we've we've got promoted. We haven't signed anyone, and we've actually played good football with a decent formation that has got us promoted. And promoted very well. And we're doing okay in La Liga in our first season there. We've got a new stadium being built. As Diaw is going to just put them 8-0 up. We've got a new stadium being built. Which I think is really good. We've got Patreons and channel members in the game. In the starting lineup. One of them has had a big move to Tenerife for money. Which again didn't really happen in the Geisley save. Let's let's not, let's not watch the replays. Um, but yeah I feel like you know. There's lots to be positive about. Just because we're losing 8-0. To Real Madrid at the Bernabeu, we can't be negative. We can't be negative about it. Yeah, we've only had 0.04 XG and we've barely attacked, but it was 8-0. And if there's any consolation, in my Man United rebuild that you should go and check out, by the way, I beat Villarreal 10-0. So it's fine. It's totally fine. There you go. Look, it's over. It's done. It's done. Um... I'm going to say I don't like what I saw. Good, they're not too pissed off. I mean, if you lost 8-0 and you're a professional footballer, you should you should be in. We came unstuck. Yes, a really poor performance. That completely unacceptable result. I'd probably agree. Shocking. Absolutely shocking, says Luciano Camps. Well, let's hope that has an absolutely ruined morale. Um, luckily, we did have points on the board. Before that, see the player has fractured his lower arm. Jesus Christ. Okay, um, so new right backs are coming in. Jeff Hogg, you may be getting a few more games at right back because Camaro will probably come into centre back to support that position, that struggle. Um, yeah. That was fun. Right, uh, thank you so much for watching. We're not going to be back for the Barcelona game. We'll come back. I don't really want to do it against Atletico Madrid either. We'll come back against Levante. We played Levante. Did we play Levante at the beginning of the season? No, we didn't. Who did we play? Oh yeah, it was Levante. We'll come back in. We'll come back for Granada, and we'll we'll see how life is going and what if anything has happened in the January transfer window, which I highly doubt. But yeah, we'll come back for for Granada. I'm really not looking forward to Barcelona, Sevilla. Probably a very good team in the first round of the cup. And then Atletico Madrid and Valencia. So we could be coming back probably after our four biggest losses in a row. I imagine Barcelona are going to smash us similar to what Real Madrid did. So anyway, cheerful, cheerful. Thank you so much for watching. I am currently on holiday while you're watching this. But please do leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. If you want to see more content for the Youth Academy Challenge. For the Man United Rebuild or for the MS Val Doisberg save. You know where you can find it. It's all on the YouTube channel. I do stream over on Twitch as well. Which will be going two days a week after I'm back from holiday. And uh, I look forward to doing that. Because we've got a monster of a save coming on Football Manager for that one. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers.